Before we hop into it, we're just gonna get it out the way. If you would like to book one on one coaching with yours truly, along with anything else that I may offer, www.loveassumptionprincess.com. I did make a few minor updates to the website. It's a little more concise and a little more easier to book. And I added a few updates to the disclaimer. So go ahead and check that out and always make sure that you read it before booking. Mwah. Thank you, love you, thanks so much. Y'all, I don't know, I don't know where my cup is. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna show y'all my cup. I wanna show y'all my cup. I gotta go get my cup. I'm gonna go get my cup, okay. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, y'all, to be honest, drink of the day isn't anything besides water. <laughs> it's just water, but we love water. We stand water. But I love my Paris Hilton cup. I might have showed y'all this before that I'm thinking about it because they come in packs of two. It's a pink and white one and then there's just this peach color. But they're so freaking cute. I literally, I don't use any other cups. Like this is my cup. Copyrighted, trademarked my cup, okay? Okay, you guys. First of all, I have the Princess Treatment Subliminal playing in the background. Yes, indeed, okay? This is what we're gonna talk about today. This is what we're gonna talk about on today. So a few days ago over on my Instagram, my Law of Assumption Instagram, at Law of Assumption Princess, if you don't follow me, I was talking about how I've been getting a lot of questions recently about how to not wait. A lot of not waiting questions, right? And basically what I said on my Instagram is I am not in a state of waiting because I'm not waiting for a specific thing to transpire in my 3D in order for me to know that I already have it. And a lot of times, let's be honest, that is what is going on. People are waiting for their 3D to look a certain way, to be a certain way before they give themselves permission to be the power, before they give themselves permission to know that they have it. And that can be very aggravating and that can leave you in a lingering state, feeling like you're waiting for something to transpire when in all honesty, if you knew that you had it, if you knew that it was already taking place in your reality, if you knew that you were the God of your reality, you would just be chill because it would already be done and you would be trusting in the knowing. But basically i went a little bit into detail and i told you guys how i get to the point where i'm not waiting and this is kind of like a hack i made a video a few months ago about like hacking your 3d and you know utilizing the things that are going on in your 3d to the, to your benefit and this could very much so tie in with that concept as well but basically i was saying that i'm not waiting because what i do is decide that everything that's taking place in my 3d means that i have what it is that i want so for instance i will wake up in the morning and it'll be sunny that means i have what i want i could wake up in the morning and it could be snowing and that means i have what i want i could wake up in the morning it could be raining and guess what that means i have what i want yes every single thing it doesn't matter how mundane it is means that i have what i want now this might sound rather trivial okay and i understand that to the naked eye on a 3d basis it sounds kind of trivial but here's the thing your subconscious okay your total being it does not care what you use as proof to validate the fact that something is true it does not care okay so if you walk outside and see a bird in the sky you as god literally have the capability the wherewithal the threshold to decide that bird going by in the sky means that you make five thousand dollars a week y'all every i have no idea why everyone's calling me now now that i'm filming I'm filming, I gotta call you back. Glizzy. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. The means, the thing in which you are deciding means that you have what you want really doesn't matter. And this goes back to everything is inherently neutral. We're the ones assigning things meaning, we're the ones giving validity or, or taking away validity. We're all, we're doing all of that. That is so true. It is so true to a fault, 
to the point where you doing this will make your belief in yourself so much stronger because all you're doing is validating yourself all day long. All you're doing is validating the decisions that you made all day long. And it feels good because again, you're not waiting for a specific thing to transpire. You already know that the specific thing that you want has transpired. So now all you're doing as a God of your reality is taking your precious awareness, your precious consciousness, and deciding that these things that seemingly had no meaning before you decided to utilize your power in this way mean that you have what you want. It doesn't matter what it is, y'all. You could lose $5 in the parking lot, which obviously isn't the best case scenario, but you don't have to default to a meaning that doesn't benefit you even in that situation. You can decide that because you lost that $5, that means that you're $50,000 richer. You're following me? Do y'all get what I'm saying? Because it all comes back to who you're being in the face of these circumstances. This practice feels so good because it's basically you telling yourself there's no stipulations, there's no limitations, there's no waiting. I am who I am because the sky is blue. I am who I am and I have what I want because the grass is green. And those, those may be essentially mundane things, but I have decided, like literally as the God of my reality, as the person who is driving this boat, the captain of this ship, the captain and the lieutenant, I have decided that these merely lowly things mean that I have what I want. I wake up in the morning, I brush my teeth, I'm on the cover of Vogue. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. And the more that you get into the practice of this, the more that this feels normal for you. The more that the state of having becomes your home, because again, you're not putting stipulations on things. You're not saying, well, one day I'll be this person. Well, once things look like this, I'll be this person. Well, once things look like that, I'll be the person that has it. Well, once things go this type of way, I can trust and know that I'm a good law of assumption person or I'm a good manifester. You're already that now. I wake up in the morning, I'm abundant. I go to sleep at night, I'm abundant. It doesn't matter, literally, I'm having breakfast, Okay, that means that I'm America's Next Top Model. <laughs> I skipped breakfast. Okay, that means I'm America's Next Top Model. It's like, it's really, it's silly. It seems silly in essence, but it works and it gets you to the point of understanding that all you're really doing is getting into the habit of constantly knowing there is no waiting, there is no limitations. I am just this person because I landed my awareness to the fact that I'm this person now. And I promise if y'all start doing this, like if you start doing this in your everyday life, you're going to get addicted to it because it's fun. It's fun. It's literally so much fun. I do it all the freaking time. And I tell my clients, if you've ever booked with me, you know for a fact <laughs> that this is something that I talk about. Like literally y'all, I don't care what the hell is going on. Green light. I get everything I want. I'm abundant. I win. <laughs> Red light. I get everything I want. I'm abundant. I win. <laughs> doesn't it doesn't freaking matter because and, and and it just it it's fun it's effortless it doesn't take any work because y'all know i always constantly remind y'all that manifestation is not work it's continued focus it is just another way for you to utilize your knowing in a beneficial manner and that is the goal like that is the ultimate goal is for you to just always know who you are always round the clock 365 and I want y'all to understand that too. You're not just God sometimes. You're not just God when you're having the perfect day ever. You're not just God when you're not triggered. You're God all the time. That power never goes away. It's not biased. It doesn't have any on and off switch. It's just innate. And it's just who you are. And it's who you will be forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Whatever you believe in whatever you think comes after life, like you don't lose your power no matter what entity you are and no matter how you occupy the world. You're just gonna be this power forever. So why wait? Why wait? What's the point in waiting? Waiting is boring. 
waiting is silly. Waiting is tiring. We don't like it. It doesn't make us feel good, which is why I get this question a lot, which is why a lot of y'all have inquired, how do I stop waiting? How do I stop being this person that is waiting on something? Give yourself permission to be the person that has it, Pookie, and utilize your whole world around you. Utilize everything around you to further prove your point. That is how precious, I tell y'all, y'all, your consciousness, your awareness is literally liquid gold. And it's just because it is. It's just because it is. It is the truth. It is the way. But it's just the honest to God truth, okay? So if I go to the grocery store tomorrow, I have everything I want. Literally, my life is so perfect. Everything is going my way and it's working out for me. I have all of my manifestations. If I don't go to the grocery store tomorrow, I have everything I want. <laughs> everything is going my way. Everything is working out perfectly. Like literally, literally. So start using the mundane things around you to further propel you into the knowing that you have what you want. Stop waiting. Waiting is silly. Waiting is a waste of time. We don't like how it feels when we wait, so we're not going to do that anymore because we are the gods of our reality and we have a say-so in how things are taking place, okay? I'm going to end the video right here because I actually want to make a next one right after this. From here on out, I'm just going to put my socials here because I've gotten to the point where I have way too many socials to say at the end of every video. But you better make sure you're following me on each and every one of them, especially on Love Assumption Princess on Instagram, y'all, because I put a lot of updates on there. I'm active on there pretty much consistently. So if y'all want the inside scoop, if y'all want to ask me questions, I, I let people ask me questions on there a lot. I do polls, all of that good stuff. Follow me on Love Assumption Princess. Follow me everywhere else. And until next time, you guys know that I love you. 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 I love you.